All right, let's go back to the Swan Valley now, where our special guest presenter, Kimber, from Mix 94.5, is taking us on a tour of some of her favourite places out there. Kimber, good morning to you again. Never morning, too early for Tim. chocolate, huh? Oh, couldn't wait to get here. It's Whistler's <laughs> Chocolate Company. Now, I'm going to bring something special back for you, though, Tim, because you are a good friend of us oh, at you. Mix 94.5. So, if you had to choose milk, chocolate or dark when it comes to Rocky Road, what's your favourite? Oh, look, you know, I'm not fussy, all of the above, but if I had to choose one, uh, dark. Let's go dark. Dark? OK, so this one, this one here. <laughs> it's all yours. I'll bring it back. I promise. I promise. Now, this place is fantastic. Over 200 products here. I don't even know where to start. But a good place to begin is just over here. I'm going to make some special truffles, I think. This is Ian Sargent. Ian, thank you for having us. Morning. Ian is the owner of the company and also three generations of chocolatiers. What happens if you weren't a fan of chocolate? Doesn't even come into the equation. Everyone's got to be a fan of chocolate in my family, so okay. we just eat, eat and eat. <laughs> Otherwise you're ostracised. OK, we're going to make some truffles. What? How does this work? Well, truffles are uh, the classic chocolate, so what we need is we need some cream and we need different chocolates. The better the ingredients, the better the truffle's going to be. So basically it's a combination of the cream and the chocolate and then we're mixing in uh, herbs, um, different sort of like from chilli or to um, cinnamon or we can even infuse uh, a cream with some tea um, when, it's, when it's boiling and that way we get the subtle flavours in a truffle um, coming out um, as, as we eat it. Okay, now these look like some pre-made shells but everything goes into this. Yes, so there, there's two ways to make the truffles. Um, you can either um, hand pipe them into your little truffle shells mm -hmm. or otherwise you can pipe them down onto a tray and then you hand roll them and then this is where the fun bit begins we're going to get you to uh, coat up some truffles in the traditional way um, like the French would have done it um, the truffle name comes from um, the, the French who, who invented the name and truffle because it looks like the original truffle that comes out of the ground well I would love to help you make truffles but my biggest problem here Tim is that I am majorly distracted by this thing <laughs> what is going on it's like a chocolate fountain of youth. Go on, Kimber, just put your mouth under it. You know you want to. <laughs> you know what? I knew you were going to say that, and I've already <laughs> checked, and they said it's against hygiene. I'm not allowed. <laughs> OK, so, but we are. I am going to make some uh, truffles here. We're going to roll well, some, some things. So I'm going to gear up in the, appropriate, uh, in the appropriate outfit for chocolate making. Yep. OK, so... We grab a little uh, truffle ball there, mm -hmm. and then we uh, throw it into the chocolate, and you've got to get your hands dirty, get oh, your okay. chocolates in there. Ooh, OK. Yep. And then give it a roll. And then we throw it into the cocoa. Oh, oh that like, didn't... I sort of thought it was going to roll, like yeah, a no, skimming that's, stones that's on the... Right. Look at that. <laughs> it, all, it all looks good. Look at that. Oh, great. Perfect. That's it. Do I get the job? You do get the job. Honorary Oompa Loompa. We'll roll you in <laughs> fake tan and you'll be the, the perfect Oompa Loompa back at the factory. OK, good. I could use an orange tan. All right, now show us... These are some of the pre-made... Oh, what a mess. What am uh, I going to do with oh, this? Oh, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Now, you've got some pre-made truffles here. Tell me about these, because these are some pretty incredible flavours. Uh, yes, well, we, um, we, we try to do unique flavours and very subtle flavours. So we're from rhubarb to earl grey tea to framboise to orange liqueurs to rose. So, you know, the, you can do so many different flavours and combinations, but we always try to keep it to traditional um, flavours, because ones that are a bit uh, outside of the norm um, aren't sort of in keeping with Whistlers and our three generations of chocolatiers and the way we make things here. So, yeah, okay. so that's great. Tim, did you need further? the proof of this is why it's one of my favourite places in Perth to come and visit. No, I think the <laughs> evidence has been overwhelming and compelling up to now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, it's pretty sweet of you, Ian, um, that you've pre-prepared these for me to take home and I think we'll probably... This one over here looks good for you, Tim. You can have that one. Yep. And I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy that. And uh, the boys at Mix 94.5, I've promised them I'll bring back a giant freckle and you do that too because this is the <laughs> fun place to do chocolate. <laughs> Lots of freckles. Happy to uh, supply them to the boys back, back at the office. OK. Now, you guys, can, people can come around all the time, any time during the week? Yeah, our school holidays, we're open every day and during the week, um, uh, Tuesday to, to Sunday, we need a day to, to recoup and give the Oompa Loompas a bit of a break, so we're all good. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with this, Tim. I'm going to have to go just so I can go and lick my fingers You know exactly what to do, camera. you just don't want to do it on camera. I oh, know I don't, yeah. it's humiliating. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, back to you, Tim. Thanks so much and uh, thank you, Ian, for having us here at Whistlers in the Swan Valley.